What's going on people? It's the IT guy here again with another video for you. So today my friend uh, he messaged me and he said man I spilled some coke over my keyboard and now my PC is completely dead uh, and I really need the files on there so I, I said like you know no problem bring him over and I'll have a look at it. So um, lucky me this is an Acer laptop that has a handy door where the hard drive is hidden behind. So this is not going to be the case for every laptop because I've had laptops I had to pry open, even uh, screw off the, the monitor uh, in order to just access something like memory or something uh, mundane as a, as a stupid hard drive. So I am uh, a, I consider myself lucky today so I just have to open this, uh, this little door over here and there is the hard drive. So it's, it's as easy as that. Um, just to get to the hard drive you just have to unscrew a couple of screws. So this is an Acer N17C4. Um, in order for you to know how to open up your laptop I would suggest you search for some of these doors and if, if there are no doors, if it's completely blank and you have all these screws then I would suggest you Google um, something like uh, how to open up uh, you know the, the like in this case Acer and 17 C4 but in your case if you have, have like an HP pavilion it's like how to open up an HP pavilion and then you you type in your model number over here so in my case it's not necessary I have this handy little door where the hard drive is hidden behind and I just have to unscrew these four screws over here in order to get the hard drive out and then we're gonna get to the next part, and the next part is you'll need a, you will need a SATA to USB adapter. Well, you don't actually need it, but if you're not really really handy with uh, computers, then it's the best option for you. If you're a little bit handy with computers and you assembled your own computer before, then you can actually just plug the SATA drive into. Uh, your SATA connector on your motherboard and just connect the SATA power cable and that's also a good way to do that. Um, but this is not how this is going to work. Um, we're going to use this over here. This is a this is a simple uh, HDD enclosure for you know, making an internal uh, HDD an external hard drive. Uh, because I could not find my two and a half to my two and a half, my two and a half inch SATA to um, to USB adapter, so I'm gonna use this. It works just as well. Uh, I will link the products in the description so you can find it easily. Uh, also, if you would have a newer type of laptop and you already have uh, NVMe drives, then you'll need an NVMe to uh, USB adapter, of course. But no, no worries. I will like link all the products you need in the. Uh, description below but do take note first what kind of hard drive you have this is just a simple uh, you know a simple SATA uh, hard drive over here so I'll just take it out unplug this and then we'll take out the uh, carrying the carriage or whatever you call it it's this little case that keeps the hard drive in the laptop just unscrew everything. There we go. Then we take the hard drive, we shove it into place. There we go. And then we're going to take this over to a working computer. Do take note that you'll need a working computer for, in order for this uh, method to work. Um, you know, just take it over to the computer and plug it into the USB. That's what, what we're going to do right now. Just, just so, just uh, follow along with me. So we're now back at the computer, so excuse me for the change in audio quality. I use my Rode microphone to record on my camera and I'm recording this on my uh, headset over here. So there's a little bit of difference in the sound quality over here, uh, but no matter. So when you open up the computer, you will uh, go over to the file explorer over here. So you'll go over here and you'll go into this PC. And then when you plug in the drive, you should see uh, the drive over here um, already installed or, or given a new drive letter. If this is not the case, then you should first go over to uh, right click the start menu, then go over to disk management, then scroll down and see 
uh, if the drive is present in this list and if it's if it's present over here then you can right click it and then you can do uh, change drive letter and paths so this way you'll be able to assign a drive letter to the drive and that way Windows Explorer will be able to read the drive from the Explorer so right now we are uh, still in the Explorer menu let's go over into the uh, disk itself so into Acer and then we will uh, see this list of files over here so you will uh, see things like program files and program files x86 uh, x and then you'll see uh, Windows but we will need none of these folders you'll need to go into users and then you will need to open your uh, user folder over here and they will ask you uh, to continue over here because you don't have permission because this folder is not yours and by clicking continue you'll take over ownership of that folder and you'll be able to uh, read the files in the folder so just click continue this might take a while because right now Windows is going to take over control of the of the the files and the folders inside of the of this folder and of the folder itself as well uh, so you know depending on the the amount of files in the folder this is going to take a while so so right now we are inside of the user folder and now we will see folders like desktop documents and these will sound a little bit more familiar so what you can do right now is you can just go over to these folders you can click them all of them and then you'll be able to um, copy them into your current folder so let's, let's have a look over here it's not that much so this this uh, so my friend didn't really have that much files so I'm gonna be able to recover all of them and let's just go ahead and copy all of this and go into our data folder and just copy it into the backup folder and paste it Okay, so when this is done, all you need to do is open up all the files and you'll be good to go and there are there it is. There is all your files back. No need to worry about this one. So, uh you can do this for any user. So I only have one user over here and you know, I just copied all of the files from here. Uh but if there are multiple users, you're going to want you're going to want to do the same thing for all the users. It's not going to work from right out of the box because right out of the box by just copying the user folder because you first have to take over the permissions in order to copy all the files of that user. So that was basically it. This was just me showing you guys how to recover all the data from your uh, dead or completely broken laptop and I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please leave a like and a comment below and please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye bye guys!